Hi there, in this video I'm going to make the valve springs, I'm going to lap the valves and I'm going to check for leakage. So to make the springs I've got this uh, quarter of an inch mandrel and this uh, Hemingway's spring winder and um, I think for the valve intake springs uh, I've got to get 11 turns um, over a width of uh, one inch so we'll uh, Give it a try. Right. Here we go. Not right, is it? This type of thing needs practice. I'm out of practice. We're aiming for how many? Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Move it round again. Like that. That's about right. Looking promising. Okay, so we'll try again. One, two, three, four. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just a an extra one. Don't look too bad, that. quite a few failed attempts I think I eventually got there so these are the inlet these are the exhaust so to lap the valves I'm going to use uh, some of this fine uh, grinding paste and uh, I'll probably then go on and use 500 and maybe a thousand we'll have to see how it goes and uh, I've labelled up the heads so there's a little R there for right and a little L there for left and I know that's the exhaust that's the inlet that's the inlet that's the exhaust um, I've got this chuck here which will go onto the valve to enable me to lap it and um, once I've uh, lapped them, I'll uh, label up each valve so I know which valve goes uh, into which guide. So we'll give it a try. So I've uh, put some of this fine grinding paste on here. And uh, one thing I, I wasn't sure about is these guides are made out of uh, mild steel, which I thought was a bit odd. Uh, it's as per the drawing. Um, but I've usually made them out of uh, phosphor bronze. Um, but anyway, um, I've, I've learnt my lesson previously. Always stick to the drawing if you can. So it's just a matter of uh, running through the grades and then giving it a bit of a, a leak test. So I'll continue like this. Now I'll go through, probably use the 500 and maybe the 1000. And then I'll uh, repeat the same process on the other valve. And then we'll give it a, give it a leak test. Okay, so uh, that's the initial lapping done. <laughs> no doubt there will be some leaks. Um, but I've uh, fitted the springs 
and I've uh, made this little fixture here. So the idea is that um, obviously you've got clearance here for the valves and uh, I'm going to bolt that on there and I'm going to uh, put some air in through there and see if I get any leaks. Okay, so time for the test. Well, I can hear air leaking. Exhaust seems okay. Ooh, inlet. Yeah, something wrong there. Ooh, it's gone. Ah, it's probably a bit of grit holding it back. Wow, happy with that. Excellent result. So now I just need to do the other one. That didn't take a lot of lapping at all. And this is the second head. I don't feel anything coming out of the uh, ports. Looking good. Very happy with that. And uh, I'm quite amazed really because I, I only spent maybe two minutes on each valve, maybe a minute you seeing this uh, coarse paste, uh, the uh, fine paste, and then a minute using the um, 500 grit. I never use the 1000 grit. Um, come out really well, very happy with those. Now I've started to make the rocker arms and um, I've sort of cut them to um, the correct length and the correct width well a width of uh, 0.2, 1, 2 of an inch and drill the holes through and um, what I need to do now is to reduce this area down here to be 0.130 of an inch um, so I think to enable me to do that I'm going to make a fixture so my plan is to bolt this like that put it on the mill in the vise and machine this bit off here once I've done that move that bolt out put it in there and machine this area once I've done that I'll move this round and do a similar process on this side but you'll see there it's recessed to take that fork area so that's sort of the plan so I need to take 41 thou off this And now I need to reduce this area down by 41 thou, but I'll do that bit off camera. Well, so far so good. So now the idea is to attach it like that. Bolt it through, or bolt it there, 
I'll put it there and there. Machine 41 thou off that. And repeat exactly the same process that I did on the other side. But again, I'll do that off camera. Well, unfortunately, this hasn't worked out as planned. Now, the thickness of these is 0.13 of an inch. And um, the idea was to make these fulcrum posts with a gap just slightly bit bigger than uh, 0.13 of an inch. So I used my slitting saw, which is an eighth of an inch, 0.125. And, and I thought I'd use the slitting saw, then I'd use a file just to open it up that a little bit more. However, having used the slitting saw, um, these have actually turned out to be 0.143 of an inch wide. <laughs> so, um, there's a lot of slop there. They're no good. What I've also realised is the drawing suggests that these are made in aluminium. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remake those. So uh, once I've got the aluminium to that same state with the correct width there, so I get a nice fit on these posts. Once I get to that point, I'll get back to you. Well, I decided to make five rocker arms this time round. Um, so we've got a spare one just in case I goof up again. And um, what I need to do now is cut some sort of like tapers here on each of the sort of corners and uh, I think I've got an idea as to how I'm going to do that so what I've done is I've, I've stacked these together and if I put them on here I can bolt them down and then I can put them in the mill like that and then mill the angle on uh, well I've got four of them on here Unfortunately, I've not got bolts long enough to take five, but that's uh, that's the plan. Now, I've worked out from the drawing that the angle of this taper is uh, 5.33 degrees. Um, so, with that in mind, I've worked out that this vice, this end, needs to be uh, raised by 0.439 of an inch. So, I've uh, put some uh, gauges in there that I uh, some slip gauges and um, just to double check I've put this square here and it looks pretty much parallel with the line I drew on the on the piece um, so I need to now uh, mill off uh, 62 thou and it should get me roughly down to that line Ten thou at a time. So it's going to take a while, but uh, I'll get back to you once I've uh, cut it. Well, I ended up taking uh, 76 thou off from this end here, and um, looks pretty much spot on actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbolt it, switch it round, and then mill the other faces. Once I've done that, I'll get back to you. Well, these are starting to look pretty good, and the only item outstanding on these rocker arms is to cut a slit in here to fit this little bearing and I've done a, a bit of a test using a, a two millimeter a slitting saw and that produces uh, a cut round about 80 thou or thereabouts in width then I've moved the cutter up um, 15 thou and then down 15 thou and that produces a gap of 0.111 of an inch and the target here is 0.112 so I'm pretty happy with that and it just slots in like that 
So I'll, I'll make the cuts off camera. Uh, that's that's the idea. It will just slot in there. Well, having set this up, I thought it'd be useful just to show it. I've got to go to a depth of uh, 0.255 of an inch. I'm going to be cutting in 50 thou increments. I think I've pretty much got that on centre. So I just need to crack on cutting it to uh, 0.255 in depth. Once I've done that, I'm going to move this cutter up by 15 thou and repeat the same process. Then I'm going to move it down again by 30 thou. So in other words, 50 thou from the cent. Sorry, 15 thou from the centre, and uh, I'll make another cut. And hopefully that will give me uh, a gap of around about 0.111 of an inch. Well, while I was on a roll, I thought I'd make these little pins, which are really fiddly. And on the end here, we've got some roller bearings. And on the other side, some little circlips. Really faffy things to make. And I decided to uh, bite the bullet. And uh, I've gone and bought an ultrasonic cleaner. It's the uh, sort of basic model really for this type of capacity, uh, a bit noisy, but uh, I'm sure it'll be alright. Well that's the heads finished I think. I've done some more compression tests and made sure that everything's uh, hunky dory and it is. So um, what I'll do is I'll uh, bag those up and keep them spotlessly clean so that they, uh, they're ready for final assembly. Well I came across some sad news the other day um, in Model Engineer. It's the obituary of Ivan Law. Uh, he was a fantastic engineer and uh, one of his achievements was uh, writing this book Gears and Gear Cutting. This is my go-to bible for uh, making gears wasn't for that I don't think I'd be able to make decent gears and uh, he actually worked in his uh, workshop up until the age of 94 absolutely incredible and uh, he had a saying um, and he used to say something like I'll go and get a cut on which actually meant what he was doing was machining a bit of material into shape and the more involved and complicated the machining process the better so I'll have to try and uh, adopt that saying <laughs> to my wife I'll go and get a cut on and then I'll disappear for about three hours <laughs> but anyway this uh, little engine starting to take shape um, not far to go really um, I've got carburation to do which I made the carbs uh, a while ago for the hobbler um, and uh, there's ignition and uh, optionally there's some cooling I think I might up fire on the cooling um, until I can get this thing running a little bit. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you later.